Hello everyone, welcome to the Automotives and today we discuss what is turbocharger and how it works. Generally, in a four-stroke engine, during the intake stroke, engine sucks the fresh air from atmosphere, while exhaust stroke, it exhausts the engine emission. In this scenario, the temperature and pressure of engine emission is too high, which results in global warming as well as air pollution. More than that, it releases the energy produced by engine to the atmosphere which is completely wasted. Turbocharger reclaim this energy and sends back to the engine which results in increased efficiency and power delivery of the same engine. Today we discuss about naturally aspirated and forced induction engines, working principle of turbocharger, location and schematics of turbocharger, construction of turbocharger and at last working of turbocharger. An engine in which the air during suction stroke is directly sucked from atmosphere without any induction or force is known as naturally aspirated engine. In this kind of engines, no external force is applied during the suction stroke. On other hand, to speed up the intake process and increase the volumetric efficiency of engine, compressor or pump is used to compress the air and that compressed air is used while intake is known as force induction engine. Turbocharger works on very straightforward principle in which it sends the energy releasing from the engine exhaust back to the engine itself. In general, engine produces neat energy of 100% from which some amount of energy is waste while rest is available at the output. In this case, turbocharger decreases the amount of energy wastage which results in increased output and fuel efficiency. Turbocharger is normally mounted after air filter and before the intercooler. The exhaust gas connection from exhaust manifold is given to the turbo which further advances to the catalytic converter. Turbocharger consists a compressor chamber in which compressor blade is placed. An opposite side one turbine chamber is provided which consists of turbine blade. Both of these blades are mounted on common shaft which is mounted on both chamber respectively. Compressor chamber is connected with air filter and intercooler connection while the turbine chamber is connected with exhaust manifold and catalytic converter. Whenever engine is in running condition, exhaust gas pressure drives the turbine blade inside the turbine chamber which results in rotation of compressor blade. Compressor chamber compresses the intake air and sends it to the engine cylinder which results in more dense air intake of engine. This allows the engine to burn fuel more efficiently due to more dense air and quality of air. Efficient combustion gives more efficiency and power output. In this process, turbocharger sends kinetic energy from engine exhaust to the intake air which eventually reduce the power requirement during the intake stroke. Due to this advantage, size of flywheel can be reduced. All these factors favors engine performance, thus power output or fuel efficiency of engine will be increased. This is all for today. If you like the video and want to appreciate our work, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit that bell icon so you get notification whenever the Automotives Global uploads a new video. Peace out.